everyone, it's Ava, and today I'm at Signature Dance Company in Poway, California, after Vinny and Brandon's Hip Hop Masterclass with... Brandon Harrell, 747 IME Crew, and you're watching On The Spot Interviews. Well, it's great to meet you. Thank you for, first of all, agreeing to do this and for teaching such an amazing class with Vinny. As hard as it was, um, I think I didn't do as bad as I thought I was going to do, so that's good. Yeah, it's always good when you just go for it. So That's what we mainly look for, people who just come out and go for it, try the choreo. If not, we just hope they have fun, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah, like the whole purpose. I know there have been people who said, oh, I don't dance. Can you just reassure them that it truly is just a fun time? It's not supposed to be, oh, who's the best dancer? Yeah, it's not supposed to be, like, super stressful. Like, most of the times, like, me and Vinny would make our routines, like, you know, 20 seconds long mm -hmm. or, you know, 25 seconds long. Um, just so the people, you know, learn what they need to learn as far as, like, how to balance themselves or how to make perfect stops or something and the choreo is just for fun like we want to see what each city has to offer as far as fun you know what I mean because you're not always going to get like amazing dancers in every city so yeah. we look for people who have fun with it the most that's why we like to come out to certain places so yeah because you've been to LA Chicago numerous places now San Diego do you have any others coming up or um yeah. Damn, they've been waiting for this. We've been planning actually to come out um, to the Seattle area, Washington, up that way, Portland area. Um, we were supposed to do it in August, but complications happened. So we're going to try to do it soon, maybe January. And um, we mainly really just go by what people tweet us, you know, like, oh, come here, come here. And then we'll look into it and see if it can actually happen, you know, so... If we haven't been to your place soon, I mean, if we haven't been to your place yet, yeah. we'll try to come soon. So, yeah. Yeah, hang in there, guys. Your mm -hmm. time is coming soon. Okay. Well, I got a bunch of fan questions, so I'm going to start Perfect. with just random. Mm -hmm. And I remember one off the top of my head. My friend said this. What is one question you wish an interview would ask you? So then I can ask it to you. <laughs> mm. Hmm. That's a hard question because <laughs> we've done interviews so many times yeah. and we've heard a lot of crazy questions, so it's hard to just pick one. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's okay. Okay, then I'll... Uh, this is the one you were thinking of, okay? I, I read your mind. Yeah, this the, is it. Yeah. The one you are thinking of was the best thing from ABDC and the worst thing or maybe like the most embarrassing moment. I think the best thing um, personally... Um, a lot of people would think it was to win the mm -hmm. show, but I personally like personally think um, just being together with five other people, yeah. like we were friends before, like me, Philip, and Moon. We've you know known each other since back in the day, and you know Emilio is like my little bro. Chachi's we've been knowing her since nine years old. Yeah, yeah, you know, like we were all friends before the show, but going through the process of the three or four months rehearsal before the show oh, yeah. on the show like you learn a lot about everyone and yourself as a group and to me that was the best thing like growing with these people and now all becoming roommates and you know just taking further steps in life and seeing how far we can push our group like that was the best thing to me um the worst thing I think everyone's sleeping patterns <laughs> To be honest, we're, are, we're thrown off because of the show. Like, we stay up at all times of the night now yeah. until, like, well, most of us. Like, 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning. If you see us, like, mm -hmm. tweeting at, like, 8 in the morning, we probably <laughs> haven't been to bed. You know, like, we learn, we got that from the show. You know what I mean? Like, staying up and working hard and stuff like that. So, sleeping patterns, for sure. Like, it's kind of stuck with us right now. So, mm -hmm. bad. Yeah, well, I mean... You, you still sleep, right? Or, you know, that gives you an excuse to get Starbucks every morning or whenever you wake up. I'm See, not sure when you wake up. I'm a Starbucks person. <laughs> I'm not really a coffee person. Uh, like, yeah. I'm the type to go get, like, I'm bad. I'm a, like a soda person or Powerade person. so good. Like, yeah, that's me. Emilio would wake up to go get a coffee, though. He's Or he'll make his own. And He had a coffee party the other day. A coffee and I, party? At home, yeah. He makes coffee parties, so hmm. I don't know. But... I'm up until like 9 or 10 and then I'll go to sleep oh, well, for like a few hours. So That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah. Until you get the text from your mom or she Facebook messages you, <laughs> go to sleep. You know, so it's, it's cool. Yeah. You know? 
All right. And another one is, when did you start dancing and did you teach yourself? I started dancing in the fifth grade. How old are you in the fifth grade? Like 10, know. 11? Yeah, pretty much around there. I started dancing and I'm trying to like imitate, of course, Michael and Genuine and Usher, those people. And I did teach myself. Um, everyone in our crew is pretty much self-taught. Mm. We've um, been battling and, you know, doing underground popping events and b-boy events and stuff like that's what we did before hip-hop like most of us i know chachi actually she was like studio trained and um uh i think she was the only one who was really studio trained i think everyone else just came up battling each other and that's why a lot of us have the like cutthroat we'll go to a battle and we're like mm, like yeah. a lot of people didn't see that side of us on the show because we were like the what i say bubblegum crew <laughs> You know, we weren't the meanest looking crew, you know, yeah. so it's totally different when we're like at a, an event or like a battle where like they're like, oh, my God, this is IME. It's pretty mm -hmm. scary. But um, self-taught, yes, most of us for sure. And me, yeah, I'm pretty self-taught. So. Well, that is awesome. Yeah, and IME, you're still continuing to do amazing things. Are you allowed to say anything about the November stuff you were telling me about or is it yeah, still? I mean, we have um, we have like our first. 90 minute hour and a half production um that we're putting on we have three shows in november and hopefully if people like it buyers from vegas circ show people um they're going to be at the show and if they like it then hopefully we'll have our own show in vegas and um we have another big thing coming up um, I'm not. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but it's similar to ABDC, but Ooh. I can't say it right now. So, oh my but gosh. it's coming really soon. So, when you just turn on your TV, you'll be like, "Oh snap!" <laughs> so, or you'll you'll hear us talk about it before it happens. So, when we're allowed to, but yeah. yeah. As soon as you said similar to ABDC, I had a total inner fangirl moment. So, I'm gonna it's like gonna be crazy. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty cool. Like we're excited, but. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay, I got a bunch of requests for shout-outs, and I don't want to be, like, accidentally miss a person and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So can you give a shout-out to every single one of your fans? Not like, oh, shout-out to this person, this person, but, like, all your fans. Yeah, <laughs> um, I want to give a big shout-out to all the fans and all the people who support IME, and not only IME, but um, Vinny as well. Like, mm -hmm. he's, like, my little bro. Um, so all the Stan Granders... That's what I call them, the Stan Granders. All the Stan Granders and IME supporters and people who just support dance and our message and what we do, like, big support and big props to you guys. Awesome. And lastly, can we have all your social media links? Yeah. Um, my YouTube page is youtube.com slash showoff747. Um, my Twitter is twitter.com slash brandon747 like i get these all mixed up yeah, I and do. instagram is just show off 747 as well so yeah people took my actual name i couldn't use my name on some of them so i was like ah. i know that feeling too <laughs> it's pretty weird but it it's cool cool fans yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> means you you have like posers or whatever they call them <laughs> that's cool <laughs> it's creepy at the yeah, same time kind of cool <laughs> Definitely a step up from how it used to be. Though, exactly. So, yeah. Can't complain. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for willing to do this. And thank you for teaching an amazing class. And I hope to see you either, I don't know, hopefully at World of Dance San Diego, if not later on this year. Thank you for having me Anytime. all day. And yeah, if I come back to San Diego, I'll let you know for sure. Yes, please You'll do. Know about it, for sure.